okay, this is Josh Rackless, uh, trying a little vlog post um, from uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Here it is. I'm a little tired. I, I wish uh, I could be having a nap right now, but I figure I should do this uh, while I'm on Hollywood Boulevard. It's sort of appropriate um, because I'm in Hollywood and this will be more, uh, you know, apropos than if I sit in a Starbucks somewhere and do this later after I have a nap on the street or something. Uh, I'm tired because I had a couple of uh, three drinks actually last night at a bar. Actually, two at a bar and one at a restaurant earlier. I don't really drink a lot uh, normally, but uh, it's uh, there's only two reasons I drink usually, and it's uh, to be polite if someone else is having a drink, and then also if I'm with a cute girl and I want the liquid confidence to maybe hit on her. I, I'm never good at hitting on her. I never succeed, but I want the confidence to do it. Doesn't really make sense, but. I don't make sense. Uh, anyways, and so the problem is in Hollywood there's actually been a lot of attractive, intelligent, interesting women that for some reason have been willing to uh, to go out for a food or a drink with me and uh, so I've had to, you know, have the occasional glass of wine or cocktail, as they say here and everywhere. Uh, so I had three of those yesterday and uh, yeah, I wasn't that really hungover this morning but I felt a bit dehydrated and now I just feel exhausted. Uh, but I'm going to plow through this uh, because, you know, how often am I going to be standing on Hollywood Boulevard? Um, so what I want to just talk about quickly is the, the exciting news of the week that uh, I, I talked to David Steinberg, a uh, very famous, uh, legendary, well, I say he's famous, but you might go, I haven't even heard of him, uh, in which case, uh, just a minute, I have a text from Ivy. Uh, she's picking me up. Um, if you do not have New Year's plans tonight, I have a party you can come to. Well, all right. I mean, look, look, see, look what another attractive, intelligent woman offering me a party I can go to. That's uh, that's quite exciting. Um, I could probably just stand here all day and, and get. Well, I would get nothing more than that the text, but uh, already that's more than I normally get in Toronto. Anyway, so uh, I talked to David Steinberg on the phone because it was a connection. Uh, from a producer in Toronto, uh, Michael, that got me the number of his wife, and I called his wife, and his wife put him on the phone, this whole thing. And uh, yeah, we chatted, and uh, I told him I'd been tweeting to him and sending some uh, tweets that I thought was funny, and he said uh, he probably wouldn't be offended by them, he has a sense of humor and stuff, because I said I was worried that I might have offended him. Um, and, uh, and then he told me that, uh, you know, he's busy for New Year's, uh, he's getting together with a couple of celebrities. I won't say them um, because maybe that's a breach of confidentiality, but they're, you know, pretty cool celebrities. And, uh, you know, he's busy, but he'll try to see me next time I'm in town or if he's in Toronto or something, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I'd rather go to his New Year's party, you know, uh, than, you know, talk to him at some point in the uh, nebulous future. But I can understand, you know, he's maybe a little shy or, or uh, doesn't want to be stalked or whatever. Um, and then, yesterday, I got an email saying that he's now following me on Twitter. Uh, and he's only following 79 people. I guess I'm the 79. But he's followed by, like, 3,000 people. And, uh, look at that, a motorcycle. Covered with stuffed animals. That's so L.A. Um, or just crazy. Uh, so, uh, he's now following me. And, and I tweeted to him earlier, or I tweeted about him, saying that he's... He's following 79 people or 78 people, and only three of them are Canadians. And it was uh, Dave Foley from Kids in the Hall and Gian Gomeshi, uh, CBC radio host. And I think it was Jim Carrey was the third. And I said, yeah, that about sums up Canada. But now there's four Canadians, four Canadians, I told you I'm tired, uh, that he's following. And I'm one of them. And uh, so I was all excited about that. I Facebooked about it. And then uh, my friend Robin last night says, oh, well, that's exciting. What are you going to tweet next? And then suddenly I realized, yeah, holy, look at the buses, it's a violent town, I just hope I don't get shot, uh, he, and so she's like, what are you going to tweet, now I realize there's pressure, because now, you know, this legendary comedian, director, writer guy is now following my tweets, what, what am I going to tweet, like I can't just tweet, uh, you know, look at my lunch, which I don't do, I try to be amusing, but... Uh, also, sometimes I'm a bit dirty with my tweets. Like, I tweeted a couple of days ago after seeing a comedy show uh, that Dane Cook dropped by at, and, uh, and this girl Amy Schumer, which I'd never heard of, but turns out she's really famous. And, uh, and I tweeted something about uh, how I wanted to sleep with Dane Cook, and 
and give Amy a facial. It was a bit more eloquent than that, but that was the gist of it. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought it was funny, but maybe that's not the kind of humor that, that David uh, Steinberg likes. Um, it's also maybe not the kind of humor that uh, the Green Party likes, because I tend to run for office uh, with the Green Party of Ontario. So, you know, that's kind of... I mean, before I was already having that dilemma. Like, what's my brand? Do I... Am I a perverted comedian type? You know, like Louis C.K., he's not perverted. He's just more talking about sex, but in an intelligent way. Um, or am I like a politician where I have to be very nice and, and you know, try to get elected and stuff? Um, so I was torn about that, but now there's this third layer of pressure with David Steinberg following me that, you know, I have to also be sort of intelligent and funny. Um, so, so I'm a bit stressed about that. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe before I alienate him with some stupid tweets that, uh, that I might do, you know, maybe I should try to get to this, this New Year's party. Maybe I can still crack him. Maybe I can still win him over while I'm here. Um, so I was lying in bed this morning and I, and I had the big idea, why don't I do a funny video um, where I, I sort of am wishing him Happy New Year's, um, but I'm getting, uh, you know, funny salespeople and stuff to say Happy New Year's. Uh, for me. Like I say, Happy New Year's, David, and, and I won't say the names of the celebrities that are staying with them, but you know, pretend it was Brad and Angelina. So Happy New Year's, Brad and Angelina, and, and your spouses, or girlfriend and or boyfriend or something, and you know, maybe I, you know, get some funny characters of diff different ethnicities and stuff, and they have their funny accents, and, and that would be hilarious, and I could edit that together and send it to them, maybe I get some public domain music to put on it so I don't get pulled off YouTube before he gets to see it, or, or maybe I get some old anxiety. I don't even know if that's public domain. I don't even know if by saying old anxiety now this is going to get pulled off off YouTube because I just broke some kind of uh, thing. Oh, I'm just talking to my phone. Oh, yeah. I we videotaped myself. Oh, yeah, she thought you were oh well, no, I actually am videotaping myself, but I'm videotaping myself, so you yeah. can walk in front of me. Well, Happy New Year. Well, thank you. It's going to be happy on YouTube later if you want to look Alaska, it up. So okay. Happy New Year. Okay, all right. She wasn't interested in seeing the video, but uh, but they're from Alaska. So, and then right there, maybe that I could, maybe that's for David Steinberg. That video of the tour is right there. Um, but then I was thinking, but is that stalkerish? Like, is that a bit weird? Like, well, it's obviously a bit weird. Uh, but is it funny? And they would, you know, his celebrity friends and him would go, hey, you know, that's so funny. Put that effort. Why don't we invite him to New Year's? He's clearly a hilarious guy. Or would David go like, um, you know, actually, you shouldn't have said the names of the people I'm doing New Year's with, even just their first names, uh, because celebrities are often recognizable by their first names, and, you know, and, and now I'm never talking to you again, and now I have a restraining order, and now you're blocked on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I guess what I'm saying is that, uh, you know, what seemed to be exciting good news at first, that I've connected with David Steinberg, and he's following me on Twitter, is now uh, really stressing me out, and I'm not sure what the best thing to do is. So, um, but I guess keep, keep tuned keep, keep uh, tuned in. What do, you, what do you call it when you're on TV? Stay tuned. Um, and, uh, and find out what happens with my life. And maybe at this point next year, instead of, uh, you know, standing on a, a street corner talking to Alaskan tourists in Hollywood, I will be, uh, I will already be at David's place with his celebrity friends and uh, we'll be, you know, drinking and, and then I'll be hung over the next day. But, uh, you know, I'll have, I'll have, I'll be hung over on the couch with celebrities, which will be a lot cooler than, I'm sure, whatever situation I will be in tomorrow morning. Happy New Year's, everyone! Oh, there's, uh, and there's Mickey Mouse. <laughs>